Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today I want to do a Sega Genesis collection video. Um, as you saw in my top three favorite systems to collect for, I said I'm going to do a collection video for uh, all those systems I said, and Sega Genesis is my number two spot, and um, yeah, so let's get started. The first game I got is Ah Real Monsters. I remember I got this at the thrift store. Um, definitely a really cool game. I remember this TV show is definitely awesome. Uh, so yeah, it's not in the best condition just because it's a cardboard box and cardboard boxes suck. But uh, I definitely cleaned it up and it looks alright. It's just a little squash. Next game I got is Aladdin for Genesis. Definitely a really cool game again. Um, I actually got this by accident. I was looking to get a uh, game called Battlemaster. I had that for the same price as this at the tour store. But I was with my friend and we were debating on what we should get and stuff like that. Because I had about 20 bucks and um, he had uh, like 10 and I had to buy him something. And that was $15, so I had to put some stuff back and I must put back the wrong game. Because Battlemaster is a $15 game and this is about a $5 game, if that. But uh, definitely, it was an honorary buy. It's not a terrible game, it's a classic for the Genesis. So, uh, yeah, that's a lot. The next game is Altered Beast for the Genesis. Uh, definitely, a, I enjoy this game. Um, it is in one of my top games. Uh, it is a little wet for some reason. I just cleaned all the games off. But, uh, yeah. Awesome, and one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is that I only collect, collect complete Genesis games, so if you're ever going to send me one, make sure it's complete. That's in it if it trades or anything, but uh, if you want to send me something, go ahead. I love free shit. So, uh, yeah, uh, Altered Beast, definitely a, a pretty fun game. Some reason people don't like this that much, but I definitely enjoy it. Next game in my collection is Batman Returns, a uh, pretty fun game. Uh, my brother actually saw this and he wanted to play it. He's like, that game is the shit. And I was like, I never played it. So he put it in and played it. Really cool game. Um, I think it's fun. I kind of like this more than the Batman for uh, the NES. Because uh, the graphics are better. The music's really awesome. And everything. So yeah, Batman, Batman Returns. It's a pretty solid game. Here's Boogerman. One of my favorite games and one of the most original games. And hilarious games I've ever played. Um, it's called Boogerman. A Pick and Flick Adventure is the full title. Um, and if you can see it on the back, you basically pick your nose and throw it at people, and that, that's like a weapon, and, um, you collect plungers instead of, like, coins that you put in Mario, and, uh, you can, like, charge a fart and shoot it at people. If you want to kill multiple enemies, you go, and you fart, but it, you can just go, and just fart like regular without charging it, and kill that one person. But definitely a very funny game, uh, pretty original. And, uh, it's pretty humorous. Bill Walsh College Football. Um, it's a sports game. I have a lot of sports games in my collection, sadly. Because, uh, when I got a box of Genesis, which is above my head, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I got it a whole lot, and it's all sports games, sadly. But, I mean, it's a good filler game. It's a yeah, it's complete, um, you know, great condition. It's got some dog ear and stuff. But, uh, all these games used to say Derek Hall on them, and now I just realized this is Derek Hall on it, too. Derek Hall, I have your games. And stop it writing your shit on the game. I don't care if it's yours. You're gonna sell it while we break it on. Oh, great, fell out. So let's move on to the next game. The next game is Bulls vs. Blazers and uh, the NFL playoffs. So I guess it's alright. It's I don't understand why they make a game with only two teams in it, which is stupid. And this is actually a fatter case than regular, but it is complete. Uh, the key manual is not very cheap, the card's nearly perfect. It just says Derek Hall on it again. So thanks, Derek Hall, for writing your name on all this shit. The next game is College Football USA 96. Um, it's just a regular, uh, regular kind of college football game. Um, it is complete and stuff, so, um, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Here it is, Earthworm Gym. One of my favorite games, if not the favorite game in this collection. It's not in perfect shape because I got it for about five dollars, and I changed the case out because you can see it there is ripped and stuff. But Earthworm Gym, if you don't know about it, download the ROM. I actually did that when I was little, and that's how I fell in love with this game. So uh, if you have a Genesis and you never played it, I don't know where you bought it. Next game is Echo the Dolphin. Um, it's a pretty good game. I, I like this game because it kind of relaxes me and it's not too like. Uh, like shoot shit and run around, it's kind of like a lot of stuff and swim around. It just sounds kind of bad, but it's definitely a good game. Um, I overpaid for this a little bit, I paid about 7 bucks or something like that at the thrift store. But I kept seeing it there, I kept seeing it there. And that day didn't have anything, so I just splurged and went for this. I know it's really not worth that much, but I guess it's alright. Um, I remember I had a like a plug and play kind of Genesis, and I had this, and like Ultra Beast, and Sonic and stuff. 
I'm not playing this. I like the music and everything in this game. So, e Echo Dolphin's pretty good. Rawr! Jurassic Park! Um, I like the movie. This game's pretty good. Uh, I wish he plays the dinosaurs more often, but this is in basically mint condition. Uh, there's pretty much nothing wrong with either the, the manual or the game, so yep. Jurassic Park with the Genesis. FIFA International Soccer. Um, <laughs> Yep, it's complete and in not that great condition, and it's a soccer game. That's pretty much all I have to say about this. Here you go, Classic Game Hunter. Uh, two games you hate, obviously, because they're Madden games. Um, you hate Madden games, I like Madden games, just not the older ones. These are both complete, but the manual never saves the games, obviously, when I try to play on video. <laughs> but yep, so. <laughs> yep. Uh. I played 94, I didn't play 96, but uh, yeah, it's alright. Just my games. Next game is a classic on the Genesis, and you kind of have to have this if you're a Genesis collector, and that's Mortal Kombat. This version is definitely better than uh, the version on the SNES, because this has blood, and the graphics are better in my opinion. But pretty cool, not in the best condition. I think I, I, think I got this at the first store. Um, yeah, Mortal Kombat. This Pac-Man, which is a pretty decent uh, game. I like the graphics in this, they look pretty cool, it's pretty and stuff like that. But uh, other than that, it's just a regular Pac-Man game, and this isn't really in great shape at all because the manual looks like a, a very, very fat man set up, like my dad or something. But uh, yeah, this has the registration card. NBA Jam and NBA Jam TE, or tournament edition. Uh, my brother said this when they were growing up, so I'll play this. Uh, they're both really good. I kind of like this one better because of the graphics and the teams. But uh, these are two of the most classic uh, basketball games ever. And you have to get them off this. Uh, they really go for nothing on eBay, but like five bucks each. Uh, I believe I got this one in the lot with uh, all of those different uh, sports games. And I was like, man, I already have NBA Jam. And I was happy that this was an NBA Jam team. So let's move on to the next ones. Here's a huge stack of sports games that I do not want to give the time individually to. Well, it's um, NHL 94, 95, 96, NBA Live 95, and 96. Um, some of these games are alright. I'm a big fan of the NHL games, um, to tell you the truth. I want some NHL games for PlayStation 2, but um, these are definitely alright. Um, they're not the worst sports games I've ever played. They're definitely better than some of the like, uh, sports games that are uh, after like NHL or NBA Live. Uh, so, yep. Pretty cool. <laughs> this is Shaq Fu. I bought this sealed at the store uh, down the street from me. This is, uh, this was sealed, but I opened it up, so it's in mint condition. And, uh, the only reason why I bought Shaq Fu, why would you ever buy Shaq Fu? Well, because it was sealed and it came with this thing, which is like a alternative back. It's the same thing. It comes out. And, uh, it has a Shaq Fu wrapped single in it. And I was so excited to get this. I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy this just because it has this single in it. And uh, I turn the disc around and I take it out and I'm so excited to put it on my CD player and listen to it. And it's cracked. I hope you can see that. But right there, there's a pretty big crack in it. Uh, it just doesn't play. I even tried it. But that was disappointing. I may go back and uh, get another sealed one, um, and maybe give it away or something. Not that anyone wants it, but uh, I definitely want to play that CD and see how terrible it is. And I might make a video about that. Tell me if you actually want me to go get that CD and uh, see how it is. So yeah, Shaq Fu, let's just put that on the shelf and leave it there for a while. The next game is Sonic Spinball, a uh, pretty cool game. I'm not a huge fan of pinball. Uh, video games, I like the machines actually themselves, but I don't like the, the pinball games. This is an alright game. I like it because it's pretty 3D and everything. Uh, but it could have been any pinball game. They just slapped um, Sonic on it to make more money. And they did. Um, this is complete. And in pretty good condition. The cover's a little bit messed up, but uh, the inside and the card are pretty good. Here we go with the classics. Here it is. Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, this is the not for resale version. It's in pretty good condition. When I bought my uh, Genesis on eBay, this was the first game I got. Right after I got that, it didn't come with any games, so I wanted one. 
So I went and spent 10 bucks extra and got this complete and in pretty good condition. So uh, let's keep going. Again, the not for resale, this is Sonic 2. I have all three, you'll see that other one next. But uh, this one is in really good shape too. I believe I got this online also for like seven bucks or something like that. And uh, yeah. Here's the next Sonic game, Sonic 3. Uh, this one I did not uh, buy online because they are overpriced online. They go for about uh, like 15 to 17 dollars online. I really didn't want to spend that for a complete copy. So I was actually looking on, on, uh, online and I was about to give in. But I went to the thrift store with my friend Taekwon and on one of my most famous uh, game hunting videos before all my videos got deleted. I might repost it. I found this there. And I was like, yeah! And it was like three bucks and it was complete. I picked it up and I was like, you know what? You know, it's probably going to be not complete. It's, and the card's probably not going to be the same card. But it was complete and I was super happy and I definitely picked it up. It was about three dollars instead of like sixteen dollars. So that's a pretty good deal. Right here is one of the shittiest baseball games I've pretty much ever played. The controls are so stiff I feel like I'm playing with my feet and an Atari controller. Um, it's really bad. Um, the way you swing, the motions are so slow. It's like, nip, 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 and it's like a, not really fluent or anything. So I actually got this in a lot with uh, all those other sports games, but it's all right. Just a just a mediocre sports game. Here's an equally shitty sports game. It is uh, Sports Talk Football. Uh, it's just as bad as the Sports Talk Baseball. And uh, it's really pretty much messed up. I actually traded this case out for throwing gym. So yeah, it's sports talk. And they slapped Joe Montana on it and said, and all 28 NFL teams. And I'm like, why would you even put Mon Joe Montana on it? Uh, just because he was popular at the time, I guess. But that kind of confuses me that he's like the only player in the game. That doesn't make any sense. But uh, let's try not to talk about bullshit. Here's a classic, and it says it right there. I don't like the games that say Sega Classic, but... Whatever, I got a pretty good deal on this. This is Streets of Rage for the Genesis. Uh, I don't like these because their manuals aren't full color and everything. But it is in good shape. It has the newer style of cases that were on the later later end of the Genesis. But mine's in pretty good shape. And definitely a fun game. I know this is like Dinky Dana's favorite game. So when I saw it online for like, like uh, 7 bucks, yeah, I had to grab it. So here's a weird kind of game. This is Super Off-Road. And uh, the, the game itself isn't weird, but the case is, uh, it kind of opens like like that, like you take the front off, and the, the manual's right there, and then the cart. Even the cart's different than a regular kind of cart, but uh, I like these carts, I think they're pretty cool, and they're pretty sturdy, not like other unlicensed carts where they look like, uh, you can just like, uh, step on them with your pinky toe and it'll break. But uh, whatever, I think it's pretty cool that I'll have it, I have a different kind of game, and not the same stuff over and over again. So yeah, super off-road. This game is sealed. Uh, this is Vector Man 2. I kept it sealed because I really wasn't interested in playing it. Um, well, I do want to play it, but uh, I mean, I'd rather have it sealed than play it. Um, this I got online for about $17 on a bid, and I thought I was getting a great deal. And then I looked, and they only go for about 20 25 bucks sealed. So uh, it wasn't that disappointing because I did get a good deal on it, but uh, it's still cool to have a sealed game. It is sealed, it has the H-Seam, but one thing I'm not too souped about is that it has like a, a uh, opening in the seal. You can see that right there. I'm sticking my fingers in there. But I guess it's still considered sealed um, and it's in really good shape obviously because it's sealed. So it's Vector Man 2. I don't know much about it. I know that they're awesome games. I watched the gameplay on it but I haven't played it obviously. Here's actually one of my favorite older uh, baseball games. This is World Series Baseball. It's complete and in really good shape. Um, I got this from the lot, and this is probably the best condition one out of all of them in that lot. But, uh, yeah, World Series Baseball is actually a pretty good baseball game. And if you want a good baseball game for the Genesis, pick this up. I'm not saying go out of your way down to eBay. Just if you ever find it, definitely pick it up. It's a pretty, pretty solid game. And last but not least is X-Men. Uh, my copy is in pretty, uh, pretty rough condition. There's a big like, dash in the case, but I can just change the case out. I wanted to. And, uh, the manual and the uh, game is in pretty good condition. If I can hold it. And uh, yeah. So that's it. I um, uh, hope you enjoyed my Genesis collection. I definitely like it. I hope to get more games. If you have any suggestions um, on what I should get, uh, I know a lot of you know a lot about the Genesis and it's some of your favorite consoles like NT11 and Dynasty Warrior 6. So NT1138, right? I think that's right. So uh, 
yeah. Uh, definitely love the Genesis. I am planning on getting some more games like Truxton and Herzog's Vi and stuff like that. Because I do like shoot 'em ups and I heard the shoot 'em ups on the system are really awesome. So, uh, yeah. Genesis is really cool. You should definitely pick one up if you're thinking about it. Don't even hesitate because it is one of my favorite consoles. And, uh, I'll see you next time, guys.